Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial about the game effects. My name is Gabriel Aguiar and we are going to see how to create wipe and trails. It was widely requested and today I bring to you these effects that you are seeing. They are available in my Patreon and they can be attached to swords, to axes, to knives, to pretty much any weapon. And they can also be attached to a character as you can see, or simply nothing, which looks awesome too. This is only available in my Patreon, so make sure to go check it out, there is a link in the description. It comes with 3 scenes and each one with 7 weapon trails effects. So let's see how we can create a simple weapon trail. Alright, so in my scene I have this sword, which is from the asset store, it's free and it's really awesome. And in my sword I have a spawn point, which is where the effects are going to be instantiated if using a script. And I created an animation for this sword so I can see the effects in action. And we could create these effects with trail renderer, where we would say it has a certain time, with a specific curve and with a color, but this method is defective. Because as you can see, if you look closely, every time the sword goes back and forward, we can see a little glitch which is not really pleasing for the eye. But there is another way to create wipe and trails. And it's with particle systems. Let's create an empty, rename it to sword trail tutorial, in this case, place it in the right position, and inside it we want a particle system which is going to be called trails and that's what it's going to do, it's going to generate trails and the way we can do it is by setting the shape to mesh, to sphere or in this case to edge which will do the work and we need to rotate it as you can see in the Z axis 90 degrees let's adjust the size of this edge to fit the sword and we can come down here to material and select none because we are going to use the default particle in the trail material. And we can turn on trails, but we will still have these purple squares because we need to set the render mode to none, which means this particle system is only using a trail material. And for some reason these trails are more efficient and we have more options to control. So let's change the start lifetime to something shorter between 0.8 and 1.6 the duration is going to be 3 in this case because of the animation I created and the start size is going to be small between 0.05 and 0.15 in this case we want a high rate of a time somewhere between 40 and we can start with a burst of 10 and color of a lifetime it's going to go from full opacity to no opacity the start color in this case it's going to be a darker orange towards a lighter orange something like this and it's starting to look cool already but we can create some improvements by coming down here to the trails and in the wide over trail we want to use a curve actually we want to use this one this curve which will make the beginning thicker than the end. And we can also create a small variation in the start speed between 0.2 and minus 0.2. Alright, let's see how this is looking. And as you can see, nothing really happens. And that's because we need to turn on one last thing, which is in the trails. And it's world space. World space will make sure that the trails are not attached to the sword and will leave a trail behind. And it's looking really good. Just have a small observation to make, which is related to the edges that this trail create. As you can see, it's not that smooth. And we can increase the smoothness of our trail by going down here in the minimum vertex distance. We can lower this number to 0.01. And now it's looking already a little bit smoother. Next step, we can create a glow for the sword. So let's create a particle system and change the duration to 3. This is not going to move, so the start speed is 0 
let's turn on 3D start size and turn off shape in the rate over time, in this case we want only one for now and start lifetime is also going to be one. Now let's adjust this glow to the sword in the Y axis of the 3D start size. In my case to 7, 7.8, this really depends on what you are using. You can use this in a knife, in the axe, you know, whatever weapon you want basically. Let's actually increase the rate over time to 2, so we can have one more particle. And let's turn on color over lifetime so we can use a gradient with full opacity in the middle and no opacity in the extremities. Just like this. I'm going to choose an orange for the start color. You can use two colors if you want. And we can also make this random between two values in the 3D start size so we can have a bit more of randomness basically. Let's go down here to the renderer and set the render alignment to local so it aligns with the sword. Great. Let's also add some particles and for that we can duplicate the trails particle system and rename it to particles. And in the particles we want to turn off the trails and in the render mode we want to use billboard and we can use the default particle from unity and set the trail material to none. Now we want to use these particles in a world simulation space. So every time the swords go back and forth the particles will be left behind and will not be attached to the sword like the trails or like the glow. And start size it's going to be a little bit smaller just like this. And let's increase the start speed to between 0.5 and minus 0.5. Nice. Now let's see how this is looking. I'm going to select these three particle systems, play the animation and it's looking really good. So let's just see what would we need to change if we wanted to use these weapon trails in a character for example. So here in my scene I have this character from Mixamo which is really great for animated characters and as you can see I am selecting the left and middle and the right and middle and I'm going to drag and drop basically the sword trail we have just created from the tutorial. I'm gonna break prefab instance so we don't make any mistakes and rename this to hand trail. I'm gonna reset the position and create a prefab out of this. And the first changes we want to make is in the shape and for this we want to select the sphere. And as I said in the beginning we can change the shape to fit any weapon or character or pretty much anything that we want to put our trails on, which is really great. But in this case I'm going to select the sphere and the scale is going to be 1, 1, 1 and the radius 0 0.2, 0 0.1, somewhere between that. Next change we want less emission in this case because the radius is smaller and in rate over time we can set something around 7 and the burst can be between 3 and 5. Alright now let's do the same thing for the glow, in this case we don't want 3D start size and in the renderer we want the render alignment to be view, just like this, great. Start size it's going to be between 1 and 3, more or less, maybe 2 and the emission is also going to be lower to around 2 with a burst between 2 and 3. Alright, looking great. Now in the particles, we also want to change the shape to a sphere with a radius of 0.1 and with a scale of 1 in the x, y and z. Great, and the emission is going to be a little bit smaller, 20 in the rate of a time and 5 between 10 in the burst. Alright, great, now let's apply these changes to the prefab and let's drag and drop the prefab to the right hand, just like this. And as you can see we have created some really cool trails for the hands of this character. I have a few animations running, great. And if you want you can increase the start lifetime, so the trails are longer, like this. It looks fantastic. You can also change the color, I'm gonna quickly change to a bluish violet color something like this <laughs> and yeah it's looking awesome I really enjoyed creating this effect and as you can imagine we can use this in a lot of weapons, in a lot of characters, in a lot of places it's really great and that's it for this tutorial guys if you can please support me on my patreon page you can get access to this package full of effects and much more effects I wanna say thank you to all the patreon supporters you guys are awesome 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as well. And thanks for watching, see you in the next video.